What's going on guys, this is Goofy Goop the Balls here with some more Black Ops 3 and today we're going to talk about how you can actually get a nuke in Black Ops 3. And now everyone thought the nuke wasn't going to be in the game and it's not a score streak in the game and you can't actually get it by getting a 30 or 25 kill streak in Black Ops 3 in multiplayer. But I have figured out a way that you can actually get the nuke in Black Ops 3. So the way I discovered this was me and my friends were just screwing around in a private match and we happened to get one and we were both totally shocked when we got it. and. Unfortunately that theater mode game didn't record so I had to make another game here with doing it by myself on split screen But we've I looked more into it and I figured out the exact way you have to do it in order to get a nuke But let me just caution you guys a little bit before we get into this It's not gonna work hundred percent of the time the chances of this happening are very very small And therefore it's gonna take you a bunch of different tries in order to get this and as you can see by the score of this game I've already killed my split screen player a ton of different times and even then, I only get it once, and even the time I get it, I got it pretty early. It should have taken me probably like a hundred more tries in order to get this, because I think the chances of it happening are about 1 in 1,000, and I managed to get it pretty early, but still, just be aware it's going to take a bunch of tries. So like I said before, we looked into this, we did a lot of research, and we're fairly certain this is the only way you can do it, and this method is the best way to do it, and there's no other way to increase your odds other than what we're going to show you in this video. So let's just go ahead and get right into it. So the first thing you're going to need is a care package. So just go ahead, get a care package. I mean, pretty simple. You don't have to do anything special there, you know. Just get your 550 points and get a care package. Then the next thing you're going to want to do is call in that care package, and you have to kill an enemy with it. So I know a lot of people are saying you can't get care package kills in this game because of the new method of the care package coming in, boosting a little bit, and then dropping. So that drop distance isn't enough to kill them because that's what it looks like. But it turns out you can actually do that. And when you do that, it does increase your odds of getting better score streaks. And I guess the logic for this is, if you called it in and managed to kill an enemy, you must have called it in in a high traffic area. And so Treyarch figures, if it's in a high traffic area, they should make the score streak better because that way more people will fight over it. And it'll just create chaos for people trying to get it. So now, even though we've increased the odds by doing this, the nuke is not in the care package rotation yet. This only increases your odds of getting a better score streak, but you still need to do one other thing in order to put the nuke in the rotation so you even have a chance of getting it. And that is you need to be running the engineer perk, and when you go up to your care package, instead of taking it, you have to double tap X and change it. And once you change it, that also slightly increases your odds and puts the nuke in the rotation. And like I said, the chance of getting it, the percentage, is tiny for the nuke. But it only gets put into the rotation once you double tap with Engineer after killing someone when calling in the care package. So then the next step is to just try this a buttload of times and eventually it's going to work. And we haven't thought of any other ways to increase our odds, but if you guys have any ideas just leave a comment down below and we'll be sure to look into it some more. And I'm about to get the nuke pretty soon in the background here, so I'm just going to stop talking over that part so you guys can hear what the nuke sounds like and what it sounds like to call it in. So there it is guys, that's the nuke, I know it's pretty awesome, but it just seems to be a visual effect in this game, it doesn't kill the enemy on the other team, and I guess that's because Treyarch never really liked the idea of the nuke and how someone could just camp for 25 kills, call it in, and kill the entire enemy team, so that kind of seemed unfair to them, so I guess that makes sense that it's only a visual sort of effect here, and that's pretty much it for this video, we haven't figured out any other maps or anything that this doesn't work on it seems to work on every map it's not just that oh it's nuke town so you can get a nuke on it it seems to work on every other map too and yeah that's about it guys hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and hopefully you'll give it a try for yourself and see if you're able to do it and let people know that you can get a nuke in this game it is possible it's just very 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 hard so start spreading the word and so people can start trying it and try to see if they can get a nuke for themselves and if you guys have any questions, comments, concerns, anything like that about the method, about how it can be improved, or anything that you've found, feel free to leave a comment down below. And please do, because I'll be sure to get back to you, because I'm really interested to see 
as what you guys find, if there's any other methods to improve this so you can get a nuke a higher percentage of the time. And I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and if you did, I'd love it if you could hit that like button and subscribe to my channel for more Black Ops 3. This has been Goofy Goop to Balls, and I'll catch you all in the next video.